Hi friends, my name is Baji. Welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we deep dive into dashboard concepts in Dynatrace. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend watching it first before continuing with this video. In this video, we will understand the process of integrating JMeter with Dynatrace. So, without any further delay, let's get started. You might be wondering why we need to integrate JMeter with Dynatrace in the first place. What benefits do we gain from this integration, isn't it? When we perform test and application, we create transaction based on user actions. However, on the server side, these transactions may interact with one or multiple services. Without knowing these services, it can be challenging to correlate them with JMeter transaction. So, with this integration, we can easily correlate transaction with backend services. Since Dynatrace is an IPM solution used by different teams, we can collaborate more effectively by sharing dashboards and insights from both JMeter and Dynatrace, ensuring everyone has a consistent understanding of performance issues and their impacts. Next, let's see this integration practically. To integrate JMeter with Dynatrace, we need to have a JMeter script, right? I have developed a script using the Easy Travel application because that is the application we are monitoring in Dynatrace. So the steps that I have used for my script is launching this application which is typing the localhost colon 8079 URL. Again this URL you can get it from the easy travel configuration UI. You need to start any one of the scenario. After that you will get the application URL in the customer print section. Okay you can copy the URL from there. Once you launch the application, we will be seeing this page. After launching, I have navigated to special offers page and then from here, I have clicked the book now. So these are the three transactions that I have used in this script. So to save some time, I have already created a script in JMeter which is working fine. So let me quickly run one iteration so I can see the launch, special offers and book now. Okay. As the next step, we will try to integrate this script with Dynatrace. Okay. So before we do that integration, let's quickly go to the Dynatrace documentation which actually explains this integration process okay so Dynatrace is currently supporting three tools for this integration purposes jmeter load runner and neoload since as part of this performance testing must have skill series we are learning jmeter so we'll try to use the jmeter integration okay so the way it works is that in our script we need to pass an additional header which belongs to Dynatrace so that Dynatrace can read that header and then it will use the values that we pass in that header and show them in the Dynatrace so that we can easily correlate our transactions in Dynatrace. Okay. On the Dynatrace side, we also need to add a request attribute. In real time, we might not be having privilege to create any request attributes. In that case, you can work with Dynatrace administrators to create a request header for you. Okay. Since in the demo environment, we have complete access. So we will also go through that request attribute creation process. So in the documentation, click the JMeter. So here it is telling us the process that I explained. So we need to add a header called X Dynatrace test in the HTTP header manager and then we need to set a value this okay so if we go back to the previous page so these are the different values that we can pass in that header okay so the one in the JMeter script example is given is lsn which is the load script name and then tss test step name or the transaction name okay you can also pass another values if required so let me add this header in the JMeter script transaction so let me go back to JMeter add HTTP header manager x dynatrace test and let me copy value from the documentation and then paste it here so script name is easy travel demo and then transaction or step name is we will use the same transaction name 101 launch okay and let's copy this by pressing ctrl c so that we don't need to type again and go to the next transaction http header manager and then click add from clipboard so that will add that header directly okay now we just need to change the step name 02 special offers now let's go back to the step 3 http header manager again click add from clipboard and then change 03 book so in real time in your script you need to add this header in all the http header manager for those transactions so that when we run the script we can see these transactions as a request attribute in Dynatrace. okay i'll show you how to validate that as well but this is the first step that we need to do it okay in all the transaction make sure that you have the x Dynatrace test header passed and then just to make sure that our script is still working after these changes let's rerun once okay it is working fine no issues now go back to the Dynatrace console go to the settings and request attributes can be found under server side service monitoring okay so click request attribute here you need to define a new request attribute click the define a new request attribute again all these steps are available in the documentation we need to give a proper name to this request attribute so let's say jmeter integration and then leave all the other values as is and click add new data source and rule applies to you can leave it as it is 
in the request attribute source select http request header because the value that we are passing is in the request header right and then the parameter name is x dyna trace test okay and then expand this further restrict our process captured parameters and then first one select between and here you can say tsn equal to colon so what we are doing is we are telling dyna trace to extract the text which is in between tsn equal to and semicolon so if we go back to jmeter header manager so what we are telling is extract the text at between tsn equal to and then semicolon which is nothing but this step name we don't want lsn equal to dyna trace but we don't want lsn equal to easy travel demo okay so we just need the transaction name. that that is why i'm using this step name parameters after that you click save so that will create a request attribute you can click save so now the request attribute is created the next step is we need to run the test so instead of running one iteration let's make the iteration count as 10 so the 10 iteration will be executed for these three transactions let's clear the results and rerun the script okay i think the execution is completed now we need to go back to services because the data will be available in the services only right so here in the filter by you can select request attribute and then select the jmeter integration so this will be more handy if you don't know which request behind the scenes it is triggering right so by selecting this dyna trace will automatically shows what are all the services which has this request attribute right now it is showing no services because we just executed the test and it may take few minutes to show up the data in the dynatrace console so let's wait for that let's refresh so in the jmeter script i also have summary report which will show the average response time we'll try to see if there is any difference in some situation there will be some differences jmeter may be saying that the average response time is two seconds but on the server side it may took one second okay so that will help us to understand that the additional one second might be on the client side or the network okay it still did not show up let's wait for that yeah now i can see two services are having this jmeter integration request attribute so let's click the first one and then go Go to view dynamic request and if you scroll a little bit down now you can see whichever pages that we executed through jmeter and had that request header will show this additional request attribute name next to that request name okay so here this is the special offers dot jsp so if you go back to jmeter the special offers url is special offers dot jsp so that is the url that we have used in the script right so that is why it added the jmeter integration request attributes here similarly orange booking review and then the launch so if you scroll a little bit down you can also see additional section called request attributes when we click this it will show the request attribute name and when we expand this we can see all these three transactions okay so this is the way we can integrate our load testing tool with dynatrace so that we can correlate the services with our transactions and then understand the performance of those transactions okay so you can use this request attributes to do different analysis okay for example if you click on three dots and then also do comparison right so if you are using the same transaction for two different tests then you can easily compare and then see what is happening okay this is easy way especially when you don't know which services are request behind the scenes our load testing transactions are interacting so you can create a request attribute in dynatrace and add a x dynatrace test header on your script for all the transaction then you can integrate both dynatrace as well as jmeter and do your analysis okay this integration is also works for load runner if somebody is using load runner they can also do this integration they can go to the load runner page and then for load runner they have given a jar file using this jar file we can automatically tag all the requests right you don't need to add this header manually for each transaction instead simply you can use this jar file to do the auto tagging okay so if somebody is using load runner they can follow the steps provided in this documentation but this is one of the thing that we always need to do especially if you are using dynatrace as a monitoring solution in our environment in your script make sure that you have added this x dynatrace test as a header and then also work with the administrative teams to add the request attribute in the dynatrace console so that you can correlate and then analyze the performance of your transactions so that's it for this video thank you so much for staying till then and supporting me i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions or want to share your experiences feel free to leave a comment below all the video notes have been uploaded in github and you can find the link in the description if you are new to our channel please consider subscribing and also like and share this video so that others will also get benefited i'll see you in the next video in this module until then take care stay safe and keep learning